My Irish grandmother actually spent a lot of time with me in the kitchen when I was younger. She made a lot of stews with me, which is a very typical Irish dish. So when I was thinking of how to incorporate Guinness into a braise, I thought of short ribs. Perfect for the holidays because you can make it the day before and you're ready to go. No sweat at all. I'm Kathleen O'Brien Price and today we'll be making Guinness Draft braised short ribs. The first thing that we're going to do is heat a pan so it's scorching hot. Season our short ribs with a lot of salt. Sear your short ribs in the hot pan on all sides. We're gonna slice our onion, throw it in. Um, we wanna put our onion in first because we wanna develop some sweet notes in our onion. Then we'll add in our sliced garlic. Um, we add in our garlic after the onion so it doesn't burn. And then we will add in our celery and carrots and apricots. So now that our vegetables have kind of caramelized together, they're nice and soft, they smell very aromatic, we're gonna add in cocoa powder. What the cocoa powder is really gonna do is bring out some of the cocoa and coffee notes in the Guinness draft. Now I'm gonna add just a bit of maple syrup, some beef stock, last but most certainly not least. I really love adding Guinness whenever I'm making any kind of braised beef dish because the flavors just perfectly match together. The earthiness of the beef really pairs with the creaminess of the Guinness draft. So not just short ribs, but any kind of braise, it's a perfect addition for the holidays. Nice creaminess getting added into our braise here. And pour it into a Dutch oven. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells like the holidays. And I'm gonna grab my seared short ribs and just kind of place them inside the liquid. Place it in a low oven of 300 degrees for at least three hours. All right, so now we're gonna take our short ribs out of the oven and they look and smell amazing. Remove your short ribs, straighten out the vegetables, and reduce the braising liquid down, and add in some butter. My kind of holiday dish, decadence at its finest. I just wanna take my short ribs and toss them in my sauce. People are gonna be fighting over these. Place it with the meat side up. This is perfect for sharing, um, but we're gonna make it even more perfect, because we're gonna spoon some of our delicious sauce over. So here we have our Guinness Draft braised short rib. This short rib dish paired with a Guinness Draft is literally a match made in heaven. I think my grandmother would really love this. It's just an elevated version of her amazing home cooking.